Hi everybody, this is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Today we're talking about ambrosia apples and their basic characteristics including their appearance, their flavor, and texture. And I have one here and regarding the appearance of it, it does look like it's a cross between its parents of a Johnny Gold and a Golden Delicious. So it's got that Golden Delicious color as a base, as you can see here, with a little bit of reddish, pinkish blush on top of that. The flesh is kind of a light yellow to a cream color, and the apple has a small core with just a few small seeds. But really important about ambrosia apples is they're very slow to turn brown or oxidize. It makes them an excellent choice for any type of fresh fruit application. So if you want to cut them up early, like when you have company or you're making salads or something like that, or an appetizer tray, you can take ambrosia apples and cut them up early and not worry about them browning real fast. You don't even have to dip them in lemon juice. Why does this happen? They're low in the enzymes that would promote oxidation after being cut. So ambrosia apples are a great choice for fresh eating. Regarding the flavor and texture, they're firm, they're crisp, and they're juicy with a sweet honey-like flavor. They're very low in acid, so they're going to be sweet with only a hint of tartness. That tartness, of course, would come from the acid in them. Low on acid, so they're more sweet than they are tart. And because they have a lot of sweetness to them, you can bake and cook with ambrosia apples and possibly use less sugar in your baking application than you would have otherwise because they are so sweet. So that's a real plus there as well. And they do hold up well when being baked and cooked. So they can be baked into baked apples. They can, you can use them in pies, all sorts of things. Another important point is the skin or the peel of the ambrosia apple is on the thinner side. So if you have problems, maybe you've got dentures and you can't chew apple peels very well, an ambrosia apple will hopefully work well for you because the skin is not as tough as some other types of apples and it's thinner. So it makes them a good option. Make sure you can and do eat the peel if you possibly can because a lot of the nutritional value is found in the peel of any apple. Regarding the storage and shelf life of ambrosia apples, they have a long storage life when they're kept cold, like in the refrigerator. In fact, they can stay crispy and taste fresh months after harvest, as long as they're kept in cold storage. So they're excellent options for you to be able to buy in bulk if you possibly can, as long as you have room in your refrigerator or a cold root cellar or something like that where you can store them in a dry environment where they will be kept very, very cold. I do hope this helps you out. Let me know if you have any questions or comments below. Bye for now.